is Don Banton. I'm a Senior Technical Support Engineer for Quest. Today, I'm going to talk to you about on-demand migration, specifically Article 327-691 SharePoint Interface Overview. I'm in the SharePoint section of my project for the migration, and I just want to give a quick overview. I've already run a Discover Site Collections, and I'll show you that in a different video. But again, this is just a quick overview of the SharePoint migration process. So getting started, these are the prerequisites. So you have to configure your project, and then you run a discovery, which will show you the information here and which part or which phase the specific site collections are at. Any tasks that you've completed or are currently running will show here. And if you have any errors, warning, or informational, they will show here. So this is just basically an overview of your dashboard. In blue shows important information or sometimes next steps. We go on the Site Collections tab. This is the place that after you've run a Discover Site Collections, it will show a list of all your sites and who the owner is, the current status, and the URL for those sites. This is also the location that if you select one, you could then have the option of matching or migrating or even exporting to a CSV file. The other option is delete. Okay. You can sort them by status, which is stopped in progress, new, or you can look at any that are matched or unmatched. In my current state, everything is unmatched. We also have the events tab, which is specifically for items that you've currently run. When you are finished with a specific task, you can select all the events, you can acknowledge them. This is actually a really good way to clear out any errors that have been resolved so you're not constantly looking at them. It's another feature that is great if you're migrated up to a certain stage and then need to hand it off to someone else. You could clear out or acknowledge all of the current information so then the next individual will have a basically clean slate. The tasks, again, they've currently been run. You could start the task again if you wish. You can also edit or delete them. In this right-hand side, there is information here of the status when it was run, and you can click, and it will take you to the specific events for this particular task, as opposed to if you click on the events, it just shows you all current tasks. To learn more, visit quest.com forward slash products forward slash on demand migration.